What's up YouTube, back with another video. Today I'm going to uh, try to do a uh, <laughs> quick review, if possible, um, of a new item that I bought today, and that is this. The Powerbeats Pro uh, headphones in, I think the colorway is moss green. Um, I know I did a recent video on the Aftershocks headphones not too long ago and you're probably wondering well, why did I go out and buy another pair of headphones um, and the reason why is because if you watch the Aftershocks video that particular video was um, to kind of review exactly what the Aftershocks are for which uh, the bone conduction headphones is great for hearing the outdoors and the outside world while you're exercising running cycling things of that nature but I also needed something that was really good um, to go in ear so that I can hear nothing else around me um, because I wanted both depending on what type of sport or event that I'm doing or where I am. So, for example, the gym or something like that. And so uh, I narrowed it down to about three choices. But the main reason why I went with this one is because of the over the ear uh, stability that would definitely help it make make it stay in my ear because um, mountain biking you hit a lot of bumps and stumps and you're jerking around a lot and it just seems like uh, this would actually stay in a lot better than let's say the AirPods Pro or you know something else that's kind of hanging or that's kind of loose in the ear um, it was between these the Jaybird um, Vistas and the uh, Apple um, AirPods Pros and so um, didn't want to spend the extra 50 for the AirPods and then the Jaybirds were already um, kind of high I think they're like 160 or 170 right now these are on sale for 200 so I was like let me just spend the extra 20 or 30 dollars and just get the Powerbeats Pro um, I have a couple of other Beats headphones and they've always sounded good to me I know some of a lot of people don't like them because people say they're bass heavy or um, you know the 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 clarity isn't all that great but for what I need them for they've been good for me so so basically um, I think that these will serve the purpose fine for what I need them for so this is actually a not only a review but an unboxing as well so I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off and let's see I don't even know how to open this thing is it just slide? oh yeah it does all right. And I know there's probably a lot of other videos already out there on these headphones. Oh, this is cool. This is kind of a heavy little carrying case. Not heavy, but it's definitely got some weight to it. Pretty sleek. Ah, so these are the headphones. So let me just put these in first and just see how they feel off bat. And I think they come with, from my understanding, some extra... Oh, that's cool. The actual packaging is built like a like a speaker. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, they do. So it does come with the extra, uh, of course, the charger and the extra earbuds because it actually comes with three, and then the ones that are on it would be a total of four different size earbuds to help them fit in your ear. Let's see, this is the right side. This is the left side. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, that's how they pretty much look. And, uh, yeah, they feel comfortable off tops. So let me try to pair them up real quick to see how these actually sound. And yeah, I have not actually heard these live yet, so. Are they on? Yeah, it looks like they're on. I guess they're already charged. Okay, here it goes. And it does say Powerbeats Pro. So now it says connected. All right, so now maybe I can
Okay. Let's see how this sounds. Let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay. sound good but let me get something more bass heavy mm. Ooh. I got individual volumes on each one. Okay, <laughs> these things sound really good. Um, <laughs> I like them. I like them. I'm hoping some way some shape form that these can get just a tad bit louder uh i don't know if there's any type of equalizer i can download or set i don't see where it says it in the instructions on there um but i don't see anything about its equalizer on these so if that's the highest volume still this sounds good check out one more song Ah, <laughs> uh, these headphones sound good, man. I don't know if you guys could even hear that uh, through my, you know, with the volume all the way up on them. But yeah, these sound really good and they feel comfortable. They feel really comfortable. I'm going to check out a different size of the earbud itself. Um, really cool packaging, too. I like how they, I've never seen anything like this before. This is kind of interesting. Um, just to see if there's anything that can get just a tad bit tighter in there so no music or, you know, so it won't escape or anything. Um, yeah, these these are, these are this is all I need for me personally. Um, I can already tell, highly recommend. Um, yeah, they are pricey. I think they retail at $250. They're, at, they're on sale right now at Target for $200. They're on sale on Amazon for $200. They're on sale at Best Buy for $200. So it must just be a Beats thing that they got going on right now. Um, I would get them. And the reason why I say that I would... Um, not only would I get them, but just make sure I would personally buy from a retail store. I see on OfferUp and LetGo and Craigslist, a lot of people are selling Powerbeat Pros. I've seen them as cheap as like 125 to 150 is normally what people are selling them for. And they'll say brand new and things like that. But there are a lot of fakes on the market that look, and you can actually Google Powerbeats Pro versus Powerbeats Pro fake. And there are a lot of videos and there are a lot of um, fake um, Powerbeat Pros that look exactly like this. I mean, I think the only difference was 
on most of the videos I saw the light here was a little bit dimmer the light that pops up here was a lot dimmer than this one um, the case was they said the case the weight of it was a little bit different um, but other than that and they said the volume wasn't as loud or as good but it's it's, it's a pretty good match um, it was a fake so if I were you if you want to make sure you get the authentic one I wouldn't trust anyone selling it um, on Craigslist eBay or offer up or let go because the, the market is crazy on on these and the AirPods as well it's a lot of fake um, items out there so if you want the real thing I would just definitely I wouldn't even you know for another fifty dollars more seventy five dollars more get the real thing get the receipt and just buy it from your your local uh, department store because uh, you don't want to you don't want to get the, the the fake ones if you're paying that kind of money um, you know for lesser quality so yeah these are gonna be my go-to's for sometimes it'll be the gym um, not all times but this would be good for the gym this would be good for the times where I'm really not just not trying to hear the outside uh, sounds and everything when I'm running around a lot of congestion a lot of traffic I'm gonna use the aftershocks but if I'm running on trails in the woods or if I'm just on a secluded paved trail or whatever the case may be these would be my go-to's from now on and if you saw the Aftershocks video, you saw I had the Bose wireless. You saw I had those other ones. I can't remember the brand. Had a couple of Boses actually. Um, trying to think what other wireless headphones I've had over the time. Got the Aftershocks now. I can't even remember. I've been through a lot of headphones, and it's hard to find the ones that just fit right, sound good, feel good, and just have the overall quality uh, that you're looking for. But I think these are these are going to be the ones right here. Uh, of course, these come in black, blue, um, like a navy blue, a dark blue. They come in black. They come in ivory. And then I think, what's the other colorway that it comes? Oh, yeah, this one, the moss green one. Um, I just thought it's kind of cool, like a army green type color uh, headphone on there. I never really saw that. So, yeah, I I give it right now. It's it's holding up well. I'll probably do like an, a good maybe two month review on both the aftershocks and these just to kind of tell you how I still feel about them but as of right now highly recommend these guys so I just wanted to do a quick video for all of you out there who are kind of wondering about what headphones you should get while you're riding your bikes um, this one I think would be the best only because it fits around the ear and won't fall out easily or the aftershocks as well because it holds and grips very tightly but you're just not going to get um, that in-depth in-ear sound but that's okay if, if that's not what you're looking for, then I highly recommend the Aftershocks. Just check out that video on my channel as well. So other than that, guys, just want to do that quick review. Check you out in the next video. Peace.